Our story begins in a remote cave nestled in the Alti Mountains of Siberia. Here in Denisova Cave, scientists made a groundbreaking discovery that would reshape our understanding of human evolution. From a tiny finger bone, no larger than a grape seed, researchers extracted DNA that didn't match any known human species. This was the first evidence of a previously unknown group of archaic humans, which we now call Denisovans. Who were the Denisovans, and what role did they play in our evolutionary story? More intriguingly, did Denisovans interbreed with our direct ancestors, leaving a lasting legacy in our DNA? Let's embark on a journey through time and genetics to unravel this fascinating mystery. But before we go any further, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up as a way to support this channel. With that said, let's keep things moving. The Denisova Cave, located in the Altai Mountains, has been used by people for thousands of years. In the 18th century, it was inhabited by a hermit named Dennis, unknowingly lending his name to a whole species of human. The cave was first inspected for fossils in the 1970s, but it wasn't until 2008 that Russian archaeologists found the crucial finger bone of a juvenile female. Initially dated to 50,000, 30,000 years ago, more recent estimates place the specimen between 76,000, 52,000 years old. Mitochondrial DNA extracted from the bone showed it belonged to an undiscovered species of hominin, genetically distinct from both modern humans and Neanderthals. Further research has revealed that Denisovan occupation of the cave likely began over 280,000 years ago. This challenges the common misconception that Homo sapiens were the first to leave Africa and conquer the world. In reality, other human species called much of Europe and Asia home long before our kin did. The Denisova cave is a large shelter, 270 meters squared, located 700 meters above sea level in a lush mountainous region. A river flows nearby, providing clean water and fish to its inhabitants. The cave's location and size made it an ideal dwelling for early humans, especially during colder periods. Currently, fossils of five distinct Denisovan individuals from the cave have been identified through their ancient DNA. The actual fossil material consists of a finger bone, three molars, a partial mandible, an arm or leg fragment, and a parietal bone fragment. In 2019, a partial mandible discovered in 1980 by a Buddhist monk in a cave on the Tibetan Plateau was also identified as Denisovan, expanding our understanding of their range. Genetic analysis has provided insights into the Denisovans' relationship with other human species. They are closely related to Neanderthals, with the two groups splitting around 400,000 years ago. Both groups diverged from the lineage leading to modern humans about 600,000 years ago. Now we come to the heart of our story. Did Denisovans interbreed with our ancestors? The short answer is a resounding yes. But let's dive deeper into the evidence and implications of this ancient intermingling. The first clues came from modern human DNA. When scientists compared the Denisovan genome to that of present-day humans, they found something surprising. People from certain parts of the world, particularly Melanesia, Aboriginal Australia, and parts of Southeast Asia, carried significant amounts of Denisovan DNA in their genomes. Imagine carrying within your cells a genetic legacy from a human species that went extinct tens of thousands of years ago. It's like having a direct line to our ancient past, preserved in the very fabric of our being. Recent research suggests that there may have been multiple distinct Denisovan populations across Asia. At least three groups have been identified, one in Siberia, one in Southeast Asia, and one in the islands of Indonesia. These groups were separated by geographical barriers and may have been genetically distinct enough to be considered separate species. Another important discovery is an interbreeding event between the ancestors of Denisovans and Neanderthals and a population of super archaic hominins over 700,000 years ago. This sheds new light on how distantly related human populations could successfully mate with modern humans inheriting some of these genes through later interbreeding with Neanderthals and Denisovans. The Denisovans, our mysterious ancient relatives, have left us with more questions than answers. Despite limited fossil evidence, genetic analysis provides fascinating insights into their appearance, way of life, and lasting impact on modern human populations. Denisovans likely had darker skin, brown hair, and brown eyes, 
though there was probably significant diversity among different groups. Genetic analysis suggests they had long, broad faces with large noses. Adaptations well suited for cold climates. Their robust molars hint at a diet of tough vegetation. Some may have had lighter skin to cope with less sunlight in colder environments, while others might have developed features like pronounced epicanthal folds, similar to some modern Asian populations. The genetic legacy of Denisovans varies considerably across modern populations. Melanesians, including people from Papua New Guinea and nearby islands, carry the highest amount, with up to 6% of their genome being Denisovan in origin. Aboriginal Australians follow closely with 3-6% Denisovan ancestry, while Filipino Negritos have approximately 2-4% Denisovan DNA. Interestingly, even small percentages of Denisovan DNA can have significant impacts. Tibetans, for instance, show important high-altitude adaptations despite having only about 0.4% Denisovan ancestry. Facial and skeletal reconstructions based on genetics and comparisons with Neanderthals and Homo sapiens suggest Denisovans were similar to Neanderthals, but may have looked quite different. However, the scarcity of fossil evidence makes it challenging to determine their exact appearance, leaving much of their physical characteristics open to ongoing research and discovery. These ancient humans were skilled craftsmen, creating various stone tools found alongside ornate decorations in Denisova Cave. Early Middle Paleolithic stone cores show various techniques used to process stone. Tools from this period include scrapers, denticulate tools, and notch tools dating back as far as 287,000 years ago in the main chamber and 269,000 years ago in the southern chamber. Middle Paleolithic assemblages dating from 156,000 to 58,000 years ago contain side scrapers, notched denticulate tools, end scrapers, burins, chisel-like tools, and truncated flakes. Upper Paleolithic layers revealed more sophisticated bone tools and ornaments, including marble and ivory rings, pendants, a chlorite bracelet, and a bone needle. However, it's unclear whether Denisovans or early modern humans created these more recent artifacts. Denisovan DNA is most prevalent in Southeast Asian populations, particularly in Australian Aborigines, near Oceanians, Polynesians, Fijians, Eastern Indonesians, and Mamanwans. This suggests that interbreeding occurred mainly within the Pacific region rather than on the Asian mainland. Melanesian genomes contain about 4-6% Denisovan DNA, with New Guineans and Australian Aborigines showing the highest levels of introgression. Denisovan ancestry has influenced modern human traits, including adaptations to high altitudes in Tibetans, body fat distribution in Inuit populations, and potentially even facial features like lip thickness in some Latin American populations. Their genetic legacy has also contributed to immune system function and metabolism in certain populations. The extinction of Denisovans remains a mystery. While some populations may have disappeared around 50,000 years ago, evidence suggests they may have survived in Australasia until about 14,500 years ago. Ultimately, they were either outcompeted or assimilated by modern humans, but their genetic legacy lives on in many present-day populations. One of the most exciting aspects of Denisovan research is the potential for future discoveries. Given the vast areas of Asia where Denisovans once lived, there's a high probability that more fossils will be found. Each new discovery has the potential to dramatically alter our understanding of this enigmatic human species and their relationship to us. The story of the Denisovans reshapes our understanding of human evolution. It reminds us that we're part of a complex ecological and genetic web with a rich ancestral history. As we uncover more about our ancient relatives, we gain a deeper appreciation for the intricate journey that led to our species' current place in the world. As you go about your day, take a moment to reflect on the incredible journey of our species. Every person you meet carries within them a unique genetic heritage, shaped by thousands of generations of adaptation, survival, and yes, interbreeding with other human species. Remember, the next time you look in the mirror, you're not just seeing yourself, you're seeing the culmination of millions of years of evolution, adaptation, and interconnection. And who knows, you might just be carrying a little bit of Denisovan DNA yourself. So what do you think about this incredible tale of ancient interbreeding? Does it change how you view your own genetic heritage? 
Are there aspects of Denisovan interbreeding you'd like to know more about? Share your thoughts, questions, or even your own ideas in the comments below. Your feedback helps us understand what topics you care about and builds a community of curious people who want to learn more about our past. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos about human evolution and prehistory. Until next time, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and stay curious about our amazing human story.